On today's news, Jenna Ortega is out of Scream 7, and we are officially in the tailspin. Welcome back to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional News, and it's not good when we get news breaking two days in a row. And now, following the firing of Melissa Barrera, sources are confirming that due to scheduling conflicts with Netflix's Wednesday, Jenna Ortega is no longer returning to Scream 7. Now, while sources are also advising that this has nothing to do with the firing of Melissa Barrera yesterday, I'm sure that it certainly didn't help the situation. Now, Spyglass and Paramount are remaining quiet on the situation, so maybe we'll get some sort of confirmation from them or some sort of statement from them, but I highly doubt it, especially with the way they handled the Nev Campbell situation last year. Me, personally... If I think that the Melissa Barrera situation had an impact on Jenna's decision to come back, I'm going to say yes, because if we recall, the original trilogy featured Nev Campbell and Courtney Cox being on two very popular TV shows at the time, and sometimes they worked both at the same time. I'm not an industry insider, so I don't know if that thing still happens today, but I can certainly see where you would want to rework your Scream 7 after its biggest film in the entire franchise around these actresses' schedules. So, ah, tending to think that what happened with Melissa definitely played into Jenna's decision. Because we have to remember, this core four is really tight outside of the film as well. You also have to consider that there's probably some problems that are happening with Spyglass and Paramount because there's starting to be some patterns showing here. As I mentioned, how they handled Nev Campbell last year with not wanting to pay her. Then earlier this year, we had Radio Silence directors Matt Bettinelli Oakland and Tyler Gillette not returning and looking to work on something else. And this comes after they gushed over making Scream 5 and how important that film was to them and how important the franchise was to them and Wes and going to each of the legacy characters, actors, and personally bringing them back. And uh, maybe what's going on behind the scenes played into them not wanting to come back and moving and wanting to move on as well. So uh, now with Melissa's firing and Jenna pulling out because I have to say there's something more going on here that we don't know about. And it, I hope I hope that it eventually leaks because there's an issue here and I don't think it's with talent. Having seen some of the additional posts that Melissa has put out, I see personally a person trying to make sense out of the reporting that's going on in relation to the war that's taking place. Uh, There's a lot of people that are doing that, and again, we're not gonna dive into politics and war and stuff like that on this channel, but there's a lot of questions that are out there that people have and she's just trying to make sense of it. In fact, one of her posts said that she stands on the side of those caught in the crossfire. She has not explicitly stated that she is standing for one side versus another one. The reactions that I've seen on other YouTube channels and with our subscribers, a lot of them don't see it either, right? People are talking about uh, freedom of speech. It just comes down to a person asking questions that some of us probably have on our mind. I think these last two developments probably is going to make it a lot harder in landing Nev Kemble back. Having met her personally, having heard her talk about the situation that she was going through and having heard her thoughts on the current cast, I think she's somebody with integrity that just might say, nope, I'm, I'm not coming back. And now we also have to consider, is Jasmine Savoy Brown and Mason Gooding going to pull out next? Stay tuned for that probably get that over the next couple days too i would imagine so will there be a scream 7 most likely unless there's some more negative information that comes out about what's going on behind the scenes and can they do it i think they can do it with some smart writing uh to go into the next film because if we really look at the end of scream 6 with sam dropping the mask That could be the closure of the chapter of their story, and we can open up the story to a new one. But you you need to bring in some strong leads, and I don't think you can kind of reset with another cast of young stars 
without bringing in some of the returning legacy characters. And if you burned your bridges with three of the four most popular characters in the franchise that are your leads, can Kirby save it? I don't think Courtney Cox can. And Dewey's gone. So what do you think? Is Scream 7 done? Would you like to see new cast in this? Because as I mentioned yesterday in the news video, we could see Kirby lead a film where she's going to investigate the cult of Ghostface. But a lot of the story that was built up over the last six movies may all disappear. So it may start all from scratch and certainly can't do legacy characters being related to the next cast because we've done that. So you're putting at risk pissing off your fan base even further by going forward with maybe something similar to that so maybe it's time to just close the door and scream and leave it alone for another 10 years and then come back to it so let me know what you think drop it in the comments let's continue the discussion there keep her friendly like we were doing yesterday don't forget to drop your likes and do your shares and make sure you're subscribed because once we hit 4,000 subscribers we're going to give away some exclusive stuff from Cinemark and uh, we're almost there. So until the next, which hopefully isn't very soon, see ya.